Hey guys, we're going to be looking at financial responsibility today. We're going to answer the question, how do I determine the difference between financially responsible and irresponsible decisions? And why is it beneficial to be financially responsible? So financially responsible is just being responsible with your money. Here are a few things that are responsible financial decisions. Avoid borrowing money when possible because whenever you borrow money, you have to pay it back more because you're charged interest. And if you do borrow money, have a plan for paying off that debt. It's best to delay large purchases to look around for the best deal and have a plan for your money, which is also known as a budget. And then it's also smart to save money for big purchases and emergencies. Financially irresponsible decisions would look like making large purchases without a plan or without doing your research. It would look like borrowing a lot of money and getting into a lot of debt. And it would look like not having a plan for paying off your debt and accumulating a lot of interest. So basically just spending a ton of money that you don't have is financially irresponsible. Why is it good to be financially responsible? Whenever you are consistently financially responsible, in the end, you will end up with more money through making good decisions. This includes avoiding borrowing money and having a lot of debt and interest owed. So if you don't borrow that money and owe a lot of debt and interest, you're gonna have more money. Okay, let's look at a few scenarios. This first one says, Lindsay made her monthly budget. She budgets $40 for entertainment. She buys tickets to a concert that were originally going to be $40, but upgrades to a backstage pass for an extra $100. She charges the extra $100 to her credit card. Is this a financially responsible decision? No, she went over budget. She originally budgeted $40, and since she paid with her credit card, she has the chance to owe interest with the credit card. Okay, let's look at two. It says, Cole works at a frozen yogurt stand after school four days a week. He gets paid bi-weekly, which means every other week, and immediately deposits 20% of each paycheck into his savings account. Is this a financially responsible decision? Yes, this absolutely is. It's a good habit to save a portion of what you make. That way, if you have an emergency, you're able to pay for it or you can save for a large purchase like a house or a car. Okay, number three says Alex is a senior in high school and is trying to decide what to do for his first year of college. He currently has $5,000 saved up, which would cover his entire first year to community college. He could also go to a private college, which he would need to take out a $25,000 loan for. Would it be more financially responsible for Alex to go to the community college or private college? How come? So generally, there's more that goes into deciding on college than finances, but if we're just looking at finances, the community college would be a better financial decision because he can pay for it in full. He would have no debt if he went that route. Okay, number four says Jennifer has been saving her extra money for the last month so that she is able to buy a new purse. She can get it from the store today for $75 or buy it online for $60 plus $10 for two-day shipping. Would it be more responsible for Jennifer to buy the purse at the store or online? How come? So even though she would have to wait two days online, it would be $5 cheaper since it's $60 plus $10 or $70 and in-store is $75. So online because it's cheaper. Okay, let's look at the last one. Juan needs to buy a car to get to and from work. Here are his two options. Paying full for a used car that is $7,500 with the money he has saved. Buy a brand new car that costs $20,000. Juan will pay a $7,500 down payment with the money he has saved and will take out a loan for the rest. What advice would you give Juan to help him make a responsible decision? What are the benefits of being financially responsible in this situation? 
So if he buys the used car, he's not going to have a loan. With that new car, he's going to have to pay even more than the 20000 because he's going to have to pay back interest. So the advice I would give to him would be buy the used car. Not only is it cheaper, so it's cheaper and he wouldn't have to worry about a loan. No loan or interest with the used car.